Hey everyone, today we are going to look at another microorganism, Leptospira. Leptospira belongs to the spirochete family. It has a thin spiral shape with numerous closely placed coils. Its characteristic feature is that of hooked ends, also called umbrella handle ends because of its shape. Leptospira is a fitness freak and is very active and motile to maintain its thin body. It causes a zoonotic disease, which means an infection transmitted from an animal to a human, called leptospirosis. How does this infection spread? Here is a water body. It may be a lake, a river, a flooded field or anything else. Animals such as rats, which carry leptospira, contaminate this water through their urine. When humans come in contact with this water, the disease spreads. Water sportsmen, sewer workers and rice field workers are at a high risk of contracting this infection due to the large time they spend in the water. The three R's that you should associate with leptospirosis are rainfall, rice fields and rodents or rats. The bacteria enter through minor cuts or abrasions and mucous membranes of the human body. After an incubation period of 5 to 14 days, the septicemia phase sets in. This lasts for about 3 to 7 days and is characterized by fever and presence of bacteria in the blood. This is followed by an immune phase, which means your body has fought off the infection in 90% of patients. This fever is also called swamp fever, mud fever or swine herds fever. These alternative names are important to remember for competitive exams. In the remaining 10% of patients, the organisms disappear from the blood and enter into the liver kidney, spleen and meninges. Leptospirosis is an established cause of aseptic meningitis. A severe form of leptospirosis, also called Wales disease or hepatorenal hemorrhagic syndrome, is characterized by fever, conjunctivitis due to infection of the mucous membranes, albuminuria due to compromise in kidney function and jaundice as well as hemorrhage due to abnormal liver activities. In this phase, it is important to remember that the organisms or the bacteria are clearly demonstrated in the patient's urine. This condition is very often fatal. Leptospirosis is a globally distributed disease, but it is found most commonly in India, Brazil and Thailand. In India, the states of Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Andaman show the highest incidence. Due to this, it has also been referred to as Andaman hemorrhagic fever. For the laboratory diagnosis of leptospirosis, blood samples are used in the first week. Second week onwards, the organisms disappear from the blood and appear in the urine, so urine samples are used for diagnosis. Dark ground microscopy is the best method to visualize these organisms. They are too thin to be clearly visible under other stains. For serological diagnosis, screening tests such as ELISA are used which detect IgG and IgM leptospiral antibodies. The best serotype specific test is MAT, M-A-T or Microscopic Agglutination Test which is the gold standard for diagnosis of Leptospira. Fane's criteria is used for the diagnosis of which disease? This is a common multiple choice question. So remember, Fane's criteria is a WHO approved guideline for the diagnosis of Leptospirosis which uses the clinical epidemiological and laboratory findings to come to a conclusion. For the treatment of leptospirosis, in mild cases, oral doxycycline is the drug of choice and amoxicillin can be used as an alternative. For severe cases, penicillin has to be prescribed and ceftriaxone can be used as an alternative. For the prevention of leptospirosis, it is important to vaccinate domestic animals and rats should be well controlled as they can cause a lot more damage than you think.
Remember, leptospirosis cannot be spread from an infected human to another. It is only an infected animal that can spread the disease. I hope this video helps you remember everything important about leptospirosis. Don't forget to call the rat control and subscribe to our channel.